Hello. Hello, welcome. Alright, so I'm going to try to do a Avengers tutorial here for you guys. I'm going to try to do this course. as if you've never seen this game. So, I'll try to talk about everything I can. Uh, starting with... Avengers, assemble! What's on the LCD? So take a look at the LCD. You'll see hexagons. Six of them. 80 spins to collect, one completion to con collect, 50 pops to collect, three shots to collect, one completion to collect, three shots to collect. So, they correspond to the six primary Avengers. Uh, this is Hulk, Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, Thor, and Black Panther. So Captain Marvel, not a primary Avenger. Vision, not a primary Avenger. Um, for the purposes of the six main Avengers. So the six hexagons on the LCD correspond to the six main Avengers right in the middle of the playfield there. And they each correspond to a shot. The Hulk shot, left orbit, spinner. So every spin adds a spin to Hulk, and if you get 80 spins, you'll collect him. And then after you've collected an Avenger, additional spins will level them up. Well, uh, we'll get to what leveling up means uh, in a bit. Iron Man, uh, you have to spell iron to collect him, or lock. So th this uh, this top um, bingo square, so see how this light's kind of moving around? So now it's on right there. It's on lock. So if I complete these three drop targets, when the lock light is flashing, that will c count as um, spelling iron. So that'll automatically light my Iron Man locks, and it will... Um, automatically collect Iron Man. Now normally, on some games, when you roll down one of these lanes, you use a flipper to lane change. Uh, on Avengers, you have to spin the disc, and that will each tick will rotate the lanes. So basically what you want to do is anytime you see an available lane, you want to hit either the Black Widow ramp to feed to the left in lane, or the Black Panther ramp or Hawkeye side loop to feed to the right in lane. So you just take advantage of those opportunities because um, you're going to be spinning a disc in normal play. So if you happen to land on it, you want to cash that in. Uh, so the next time you spin the disc, you can move one from the out lane to the in lane. Captain America, the pop bumpers. Um, every pop bumper adds one to him. You need 50 to collect him. Or shooting it straight through the back, through the pop bumpers, will add 10 pop bumpers. So. If you uh, just need some pops, you can either shoot it into the pops, or you can just shoot it straight through the pops. And if you shoot it straight through the pops, that will count as 10, as if you had hit 10 pop bumpers. Black Widow is just the center ramp. Um, the only thing about Black Widow is after you hit her, you need to hit any switch on the play field in order to let you shoot her again. So you can't just keep hitting Black Widow, you need to hit something else. Uh, similar to Black Panther, which is the right orbit. After you hit the Black Panther shot, you need to hit something, and then you can hit the Black Panther shot again. Uh, Black Panther is special in that you don't actually need to go all the way around to count as one of the Black Panther shots. So if it just goes like halfway, uh, that'll increase your Black Panther. And then Thor is the final Avenger. He's the Captain Ball. You hit it. Captain Ball gives you a letter in Thor. Four letters in Thor, collects Thor, and lights Thor multiball. So there's your Avengers. The primary goal, um, th there's two primary goals in this game. One is collecting the Avengers. That will work you towards the Soul Gem Wizard Mode, Black Order Multiball Wizard Mode, and Black Order Battle Royale Wizard Mode. Uh, so every time you collect all six of them, one of those Wizard Modes will light. The other primary goal is the Strange Disc. So hitting that spells Strange and will light Portal Quests to win gems. Now, to get to Battle Thanos, you simply have to play all the gem quests. You don't have to actually win them all. You just have to play them all, and you need to have gotten um, to Battle Royale. So that means collecting all your Avengers three times. Uh, there's all sorts of side goals, mainly these uh, drop targets over here, um, which give you awards, so you can look at instant info. You can look at this bingo grid, and you can see, you know, Ball saver. So if I get three vertically, that'll give me 
a bolt saber. If I got three horizontally, it'll give me a, a portal lock. Um, and these bingo awards you get are in addition to the square. So if I were to hit these three on that bonus X square, I'd get increased bonus X, and then because I got three in a row, I would get portal lock as well. Um, these awards also start super super modes, which we'll get into, and those are good those are good modes for, for points. If you're really trying to grind out some points, these super modes can be extremely valuable. Um, I think that's about it for the basics here. The, your skill shot opportunities are you can full plunge all the way around and then hit the tower. That's what the red light's for. That will light your mystery one time per game. Also give you a trophy and also give you some points and ball save. You can also full plunge all the way around and hit the middle drop target and that will instantly award that computer square. That's the one, the skill shot I'm going to be going for most of the time. Uh, the third skill shot is you can short plunge and get it to not quite go into the bumpers, but not roll back down. So you have to perfectly have it go backwards through the Hawkeye loop, and that will instantly light a portal lock. Speaking of portal locks, the number one thing you can do to improve your Avenger scores is to always get portal locks before playing quests, because they multiply the scoring in the quests. So if you have a one portal lock going into a disc uh, gem quest, you'll get double scoring while two balls are in play, two or more balls are in play. If you have two portal locks, you'll get triple scoring. And so um, what I like to do is basically make sure you have at least one portal lock. And the way I like to go after my first portal lock is if it's available on the grid. So like here, if I hit this uh, horizontal one, that will give me a portal lock. So I'm going to try for that. Um, the other thing you can do is hit four combos. So that should be your primary goal when you start a game of Avengers, is try to light Portal Lock. So we're going to wait for this to get to here, um, wait for it to get to that corner, and then as it's about to move, we're going to try to get the super skill shot. Oh, I missed it low. So if I were to have hit the center drop target, it would have instantly awarded me that bingo line, which would have instantly lit Portal Lock. Um, instead, it locked it in place. So, not all is lost because I hit it at the right time. So, it's staying there now. So, now if I hit those two drop targets, it will complete that line for me. Bonus X. Portal lock ready. Okay, so you can see uh, portal lock was awarded because I got those three in a row and so now a new bingo award is in its place so 10 million so I actually I don't want, want, ever want to get that again because 10 million is not very good so I'm gonna try to get other bingos if I can so you collect the portal lock if you're on a pro you need to spin the disc one full revolution if you're on a premium you just shoot it into the portal uh, one thing that's nice is the right in lane will actually make the disc count twice as many spins so for later gem quest, when you need a lot of disc uh, strange letters, um, that can be useful. So I'm going to actually shoot the right orbit and then try to combo it in the disc. Just missed it. Calm down, muscle. All right, that's okay. L Luckily, it was the first the quest, so open. I didn't need that many spins. So I got my got my uh, first shoot gem quest right lit. Ramp. Um, before before I start that gem quest, notice how I have iron almost already spelt. I just need this one lane. So I'm going to take advantage of this and shoot Black Widow. That'll roll down my iron, and I'll hit, hit the Thor ball too if I can. I want to get Thor nice and uh, close. Because he's a... There we go. All right, so now we got Thor. I'm Thor, Prince of Asgard. We got Thor ready to go, um, but we don't want to start him. We want to start the um, the portal quest. So let me go ahead and start that. The portal will lead you to the next infinity. Star. Um, I like to start with time gem because it um, lets your super modes and ball saver times be longer. So you, you just get a lot of dividends from the time gem uh, perk. It's also worth some good points if you can play it well. 
but you have to be good at the drop targets. So time gem. This quest is um, left ramp, right ramp, and then drop targets. She's not so tough. I'm gonna start Thor. There we go. So now I gotta hit this drop target at the right time. There we go. Now we're back to left ramp, center ramp. There we go. Now back to the drop targets. So I'm really focusing on these drop targets. There we go. This gem's energy levels are reading off. And the then charts. one more uh, if I hit the drop target here. Or if I hit the ramp and then hit the drop target, it will beat the mode. And start victory laps. There it is. Wow, that was lucky. I'll take it. Alright, so we have now beaten the time gem. And since we started time gem with a portal lock, and we've kept both balls in play. Now we have victory laps, um, and you only get to victory laps if you started with more than one ball and you got you kept more than one ball the whole time. And so for victory laps, you basically spin the disc. There we go. That lights all your arrows. So you can see victory lap there. The more you spin the disc, the more the arrows are worth. Spinning the disc also relights all the arrows. So I'm just kind of cashing in some victory laps here. I also want to get the Thor Captain Ball, because that will advance. That'll give me a Thor Jackpot. There we go. Jackpot. So for the Thor Multi Ball, basically you hit one jackpot which is any of the blue arrows, and then you hit the captive ball. Then you hit two jackpots, and then you hit the captive ball. Then you hit three jackpots, and then the captive ball, and then You're four jackpots. The so I need one more jackpot. I am so as my ancestors now my, before me, the Black Panther. My Thor captive ball is lit again. I'm also really close to lighting the add a ball. So Thor, there's two ways to add a ball in Thor Multi Ball. One is with the Mystery Award, which is uh, at the right Ant-Man scoop, and you get the Mystery Award by shooting Captain Marvel enough times. The other way, in Thor Multi Ball specifically, is you can spin the disc to spell Strange, and then that lights add a ball at the Sanctum target. So you can see I have um, almost all the Strange letters. So let me see if I can hit this last. There we go. So now add a ball is lit. So Adaball is lit right at the Sanctum target. Boom! A ball has been added. Excellent. So now I can maybe shoot Marvel to try to light Mystery. I can get some jackpots going. Double jackpot. And I still have victory laps as well. That's important to know. Double arc reactor. All right, we got our captive ball lit for quadruple jackpot. That would have that would have lit the super. So that lit the super jackpot at the tower, but unfortunately, I drained out before I could collect the super. That was hard fought and hard won. All right, so we won the time gem. So now, when we start our ball, we can collect the time gem and then we'll place it on somebody. Uh, I guess I'm gonna try to get the bingo award on one of these. Let's see what the awards are. Super combos or Hulk Rampage. I think I'll go for super combos because that'll help me um, light my next portal lock. So let's see if I can time this correctly and hit the skill shot. Oh, way off. No one can stand before me. Entrust an Avenger right, so we, with the we, Infinity Stone. We won the gem quest, so we shot the ramp that collected the gem. Now we have to put the gem somewhere. I like to put the time gem on Black Widow because uh, when you need to add more time to something, you can just shoot the center ramp. And since the center ramp is accessible from both flippers, it's a nice shot that you can hit when you need it. When you need it. Portal lock ready. There we go. All right, I wanted to show that. Bonus. 
So that was a shield bonus. Trophy collected. Shield bonus are worth good points, but it's very hard to do. You have I to hit the Hawkeye loop, which is what I did with the upper flipper. And then through Captain America, Captain America will be lit for about 15 seconds after you hit the side loop. Um, and you can tell it's lit by the blinking blue arrow. So that was a, a shield bonus. We got another portal lock lit over here. Blank attack. We also have an extra ball lit, which we'll want at some point. Portal lock one. There we go. So we got another portal, portal lock, and we have our, our next quest lit. Uh, before I start Shoot this quest, right ramp. I'm going to try to lock some balls in Iron Man. So a common thread in, in Avengers is you want to make sure your Thors and Iron Mans are kind of ready to go um, before your ready. quest. Oh, we got Hawkeye Challenge going. Oh, oh, second chance. Oh, third chance. Oh. All right, we got the extra ball, though. So let's see. We need two more Iron Man locks, so I'll get one more here. Vibranium Energy Daggers. I'll try to get one more. There we go. Ball two, lock. All right, let me, I just wanna make sure we're recording here. All right, excellent, we are recording. That would have been devastating. All right, we got Iron Man lit, we got um, our quest lit, so let's go ahead and Start that. I'm sending you to the location of the star. And I'm going to go with Power Gem. Um, I really like Power Gem because it helps you. Uh, the The perk of the Power Gem is it built it collects your Avengers faster and it keeps them powered up longer. You can't beat Hulk. You so we haven't talked about Hulk. what powering up means yet, um, but I will get to that. Let me play this Power Gem quest. It's time to go binary. Power Gem, you want to. Mystery ready. Follow the red arrows. The faster the 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 fast blinking arrow is the critical hit, and is worth more than the uh, regular one. All right, let's start Iron Man if we can. Perfect. Friday, divert power to repulsors. Uh, so during power jam, any of these three red arrows will deal damage. But if I could hit that middle arrow, that'll deal double damage. I can also hit the left orbit to build the value, so let me try that. There we go. So now my power gem shot will be worth more. Looks like our critical hit is at the tower. So let me see if I can hit that. The, uh, the number of critical hits you get determines your final blow value, so you really want to try to get those if you can. There we go, there's a critical hit. Looks like uh, Captain Marvel is another critical hit. There we go. Alright, mystery add a ball. No. That would have been that would have been sweet. Alright, we got the final blow lit. Unfortunately Hey! We got the flank attack final blow. That was excellent. is over. But there's still more battles to come. So the reason I just got that final blow was if you ever have the ball go halfway up the right orbit and then fall into the skill shot lane, or halfway up the Hawkeye orbit and fall into the skill shot lane, that's a flank attack. Once per mode, flank attack will spot a shot in the mode. So I hadn't done that the entire mode. And so when I had the final blow lit, and I happened to luckily land up there, I hadn't used that yet. So it spotted me my final, final shot. Um, okay, so we got power gem. Uh, what did I want to talk about here? Uh, so what Power Gem will do, and uh, it will, if I put Power Gem on Hulk, let's say, then every spin will actually count as two spins. And what I'm talking about is the hexagon. So if you look at the LCD, it says I need 25 spins to collect Hulk. Well, if I put the Power Gem on Hulk, every spin will give me two spins. So I'd only need, you know, 12, 13 spins. Um, in addition to that, Normally when you drain, everybody loses their status. And so if I drained right now, my Captain America, who's level one, he would go back to just being collected, which is like level zero. But if I put the power gem on Captain America, then when I drain, he stays at level one. Um, in addition, when you play the wizard mode, like if you get to soul gem after you collect everybody, 
any Avenger that has the Power Gem will stay collected. So that, that saves you so many shots. So the most important thing is, if you have Power Gem, make sure Power Gem is on one of the six main Avengers before starting Soul Gem. If the drop targets eat your Power Gem, which can happen sometimes when it bounces in there, you want to make sure to hit that Change Gem shot before starting Soul Gem, because you want to make sure Power Gem is on one of those six Avengers. Uh, you don't want Power Gem on Marvel before going to Soul Gem for, this, for the same reason. That said, Power Gem on Marvel is still valuable because it makes every spin count as two on the Pro, or every loop ramp count as two loop ramps on the Premium. How, uh, and similarly, if you have the Power Gem on the drop targets, every Bingo Square will actually give you two Bingo Squares. So the Power Gem, think of it as like the doubler. It makes everything twice as powerful. It makes all your shots count as, as two, basically. It's not the Reality Gem. Reality Gem is scoring. So Reality Gem will do double scoring, or triple scoring, or quadruple scoring. But the Power Gem gives you double progress. And it also um, carries things ball to ball and mode to mode. So let's collect this Power Gem. Just kidding. Uh, excellent. <laughs> wow, I don't think I've ever missed the uh, right ramp before. Shoot again. All right, so let's see if I can get this secret skill shot. There we go. I got the secret skill secret shot. Skill shot. So that, that started Super, Super Disc. disc. Trophy collected. Uh, let me, let's collect this Power Gem first. I can talk about Super Disc. And remember, I want to put Power Gem either on maybe Captain America. To entrust the Power Gem to. First, let's rip this disc. There we go. Super Disc is is pretty big. And notice, when I'm in a Super Mode, you see the timer on the top of the screen. That's how many seconds are left in my Super Mode. And because I have the Time Gem on Black Widow, if I shoot the center ramp, boom! I just added time. So I can keep doing that if I want, but what I want to do is put Power Gem on Captain America. There we go. So now Captain America, who's one of the harder ones to get leveled up, he's going to stay for me. I don't have to worry about him ever going away until he loses the Power Gem. Uh, looks like we just need Hulk. Hulk is our last Avenger. We haven't got him yet, so let's shoot the spinner. There we go. Avengers. Assemble! Replay! Alright, so we've collected all six Avengers, which means it is now time for the first wizard mode. And because I put Power Gem on Captain America, when this wizard mode is done, I will still have Captain America. So it makes it one-sixth of the way easier to get to the next wizard mode, just by having the Power Gem. Alright, Soul Gem. I have located You've probably the seen this a million times. We must recover it with great um, A little trick there. If I would have held that flipper up before it started the mode, it wouldn't have counted as a flip. So that's kind of like a technique you can use. All right, so right orbit, center ramp, right ramp. And then what you can do here is keep this flipper held and try to pass it down to your lower flipper. Because, like I said, if you keep a flipper held, it doesn't count as a flip. Mystery. All right, mystery should give me the shot I needed. Yep. So that gave me the left orbit. So it's nice having mystery lit because in Soul Gem, if you are having trouble with a shot, that mystery will give it to you. All right, we got Thor. Now we need drop targets. And now, Captain Marvel. All right. And the tower. Uh-oh. Struggling. I don't panic. I got plenty of flips. It's the one thing about this mode. Just don't panic. Just hit your shot. There we go. All right. So now we're back to super disc. So let me see if we can keep hitting the super disc. 
Nice. Some big super disc. We got Gamma Ray going, which is the left orbit. Let's see if we can hit that. Oh. Nope. That's all right. Gamma Ray can be worth good points, although um, the first Gamma Ray is not worth that much. It's really the second, third Gamma Rays that are worth a ton. So there's actually a strategy to Super Disc. It's actually telling me to spin it this direction. So unfortunately, the disc is in the perfect spot to go the other direction. Um, so I'll still get points if I hit it the other direction. But if you go the direction it tells you, it actually increases the value for the next hit. Uh, but we're just going to take what we can get. Like attack. Pour it on. And the reason I, I'm really focusing on the, whoa, focusing on that super mode is it's just worth good trophy points, collect. and I got a trophy for it, and I only need three more trophies for another extra ball. Um, you need a, at least five million in a super mode to get a trophy for it. All right, so three more trophies for extra ball. Uh, I'll get a trophy for beating Soul Gem, so that will mean I need two trophies. We got Iron Man close to being ready, so let me try to get the super skill shot because you get a trophy for both a secret skill shot, either of them, or a trophy for the super skill shot. So let me see if I can snag a super skill shot trophy. Yes, perfect. Super skill shot. All right. Now, so one more for extra ball. Lock is lit. I am Iron Man. All right, we collected our soul gem. Against a god. Entrust an Avenger And you can see, see, I still have Captain America because he has the power gem on him. All right, so we got to assign the soul gem. I'll put it over there. And we're just going to start Iron Man because it's ball three, and I'm a little nervous. All right, there we go. So I started Iron Man. We've got company. And actually, what I'm going to do is try to start Super Modes. Because Super Modes are great with multi-ball. Um, just because you're not, it's not dangerous to hit the targets during multi-ball. And then also, we can try to beat some of the Super Modes and get another trophy. So during Iron Man multi-ball, you can just see on the screen I lit at a ball. I did that by spelling iron. So in Iron Man multi-ball, that started... Oh, we got extra ball lit. Excellent. Not... Ah, so that, that, that trophy was from... That trophy was from getting Captain America powered up to level 2. Alright, so we got Hulk Rampage going. That was because of the drop targets that I hit. Oh my god. Everything was coming together. We had extra ball lit. We had our super mode running. Uh, we had everything ready to go. And unfortunately, I uh, did not collect the extra ball. And the game ended. Um, all right. So that's going to do it for this little tutorial. I don't want to try to like have mm. too much the at once. Grows weary of your um, victories. But that should Enter give you kind initials. of the basics of the game. Um, there's the addition of leveling people up. So I kind of I kind of touched on leveling people up. Um, basically, after you've collected Avengers them, assemble! if you keep hitting that shot, they get more powerful, and that matters for for two things. One is each power up has a, a special ability. So if you get Black Widow to level one, then every, her you get a Thor in lane helper, which means when you go down the left in lane and hit Thor, you'll get two for one Thor letters. Uh, Hulk, when you level Hulk to level 1, that's what starts Gamma Ray. Uh, Black Panther, if you get Black Panther to level 1, now you have longer combo times. Captain America to level 1, the Pop Bumpers will add more points to your shield bonus. Uh, Iron Man level 1, the Arc Reactor is now doubled, so you get some big Arc Reactor values. Um, I think that, yeah, uh, Thor level 1 is uh, Super Slingshots. So that's the, kind of the static bonus for getting them to level 1. And then there's sort of a dynamic bonus based on what gem they might have. So it's a little confusing. And this is kind of like where people's heads start spinning. But you don't like really need to know the details. All you need to know is, you know, if I have the time gem on Black Widow 
and Black Widow is level one, now my time gem is more powerful. It's adding eight seconds every time I hit the ramp instead of five seconds. If I have a uh, reality gem on Black Panther, and Black Panther, you know, normally the reality gem makes Black Panther worth double. So I'll get 2x scoring with reality gem. So if I have a combo jackpot on Black Panther, that would be double if I have the reality gem. But if Black Panther is level one, now it's triple. So by Black Panther being level one, he made the reality gem go from 2x scoring, now it's 3x scoring. Uh, if you have the uh, mind gem, so if you have the mind gem on somebody and you've used up all your mind gem buttons and now you've leveled that person up to level one, you'll now get three more mind gems you can use. And also, if your mind gem is on somebody who's level one, those mind gem activations will be used everywhere as opposed to only on that one shot. So I'd recommend looking at the rules and kind of learning as you wish, like the exact nuances of every gem and every power up because there's a lot of combinations. Um, but just kind of the, the overarching vibe of you, you collect a gem, you put it on someone, and then you level that person up, and now that gem is even more powerful uh, based on, on what level the Avenger is. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Um, feel free to ask questions in the comments. Um, maybe I'll do a follow-up. Um, hopefully you learned a thing or two about Avengers. And be sure to hit that subscribe button on YouTube. And follow me on Twitch if you want to watch me play live. And if you want to support me, you can subscribe to me on Twitch for just $5 a month or free if you have Amazon Prime. All right. Thanks a lot.